Well, I hear you. It's important. I mean, everything you're saying makes sense. However, I want to emphasize that if you want to make money on Walmart Marketplace, there are several ways to advertise and you got to be very strategic about how you how you advertise. Okay, so in today's conversation, I want to really break it down. I want to break down this topic. How do you actually advertise on Walmart Marketplace so you can actually boost your sales, your revenue and also your um, brand presence online and offline? Welcome back, folks, to another edition of the Awesome Story Kiwi Show. How are you today? I hope you are doing fantastic. I'm doing marvelous, if you ever ask me. If you are doing as great as I am, go grab a cup of coffee or tea or vodka and let's roll. <laughs> In today's conversation, I want to explain to you how to advertise on Walmart Marketplace. Let me give you an overview. So what is Walmart Marketplace? Walmart Marketplace is really where third-party sellers can upload, manage, and sell their products on Walmart's website, okay? And really, when you think about it, as the largest retailer in the world, it was only a matter of time before Walmart started to flex its muscles on, in e-commerce. And one thing we have, seen, we have seen in the last few years is that their platform, uh, Walmart Marketplace, has really grown like crazy, okay? And you really want to advertise uh, on Walmart Marketplace. Why? Because you have a large audience of, mil of millions of engaged shoppers. Think about that. And if you are selling anything online, it's a great place to be. And so Walmart is the largest retailer in the United States and uh, one of the few largest retailers in the whole world. You have 90% of Americans shopped at Walmart in the past year. Think about that, 90%. Okay, 150 million customers visit Walmart in store or online each week. This is really great. And 90% of Americans live less than 10 miles away from a Walmart store. So this is really, really, really a great a constellation of, uh, of uh, features that are positive for Walmart Marketplace. And what are the features that you can do? You can actually uh, take advantage of through the platform. You can uh, on Walmart Marketplace. You can upload your products, you can optimize your listings, you can choose your pricing, you can decide on your fulfillment method, you can uh, evaluate your advertising, this is really good. And every step in this process is important though. So your, your marketplace account is a key place you will visit regularly. And we have actually covered how to, uh, how to apply with uh, Walmart, how to become a Walmart marketplace seller on another show. So I want you to look right now on the screen. Here is a video in case you are interested in this video. You really want to go in and uh, check it out. It's really, really helpful. A very, uh, it's back to a lot of tips. And one thing I want to say overall, overall is that you can advertise on Walmart marketplace without being a Walmart seller. However, if you are already a seller, do you have a uh, you have access to a large constellation of features that can help you actually beef up your sales like crazy. And one thing we love is that Walmart advertising customer service is really important. It's really they're there for you. They are responsive. They will work with you to make sure that you are successful in your ad campaigns. Fantastic. So now that you have a clear view of what we talk about when we say Walmart advertising and you, you need to sign up. OK. So when I talk about sign up, you have two things that you have to do. So number one, you can become a Walmart marketplace seller. So if your company is not active on Walmart marketplace, you can start by applying. And the good thing is that you don't lose anything. Think about it. Remember, you can advertise without being a Walmart marketplace seller, but it's just better to apply and to sell on the platform too. And you can actually complete your application in 10 to 15 minutes. And as part of, a, of your application, Walmart marketplace requires several pieces of information from your annual online sales revenue to your e-commerce experience. Okay. So once your application receives approval, you can go ahead with the rest of the registration process. So you have to sign the retailer agreement with the Walmart representative. You can complete your company's seller profile and you have to link your payment account to your seller profile. And this is really good. And uh, so after your teams take care of uh, these preliminary steps, you can begin uploading your products. One thing I want to say here is that we again, I was referring earlier to that video that we have uh, we have made. And it was it's a great video if you really want to understand everything step by step. 
that you need to uh, to actually uh, comply with when it comes to becoming a Walmart marketplace seller please go and check out that video okay so once you actually uh, you are set up in Walmart system you have your dashboard you can launch your product catalog it's important to do this before advertising on Walmart so you got to have your, 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 your products on Walmart and uh, so you can have a basically you can upload your products in two ways you can have set up by match or full item spec let me break it down so set up by match if your company offers products already available on Walmart marketplace you can use set up by match so this trimline options creates your product listing by pulling information from identical listings on Walmart marketplace so that's the first option second option full item spec so if your business wants to create a 100% original product listing you can choose the full item spec option so with this option your team downloads a product template from an, appro an appropriate category like clothing for men's pants okay and according to Walmart marketplace your company should add around 100 items to your inventory so once you have set up your product cat catalog the good thing is that things can move things can move really fast okay you need to complete something called order testing in other words you want to make sure that basically everything goes fine if uh, a customer places an order okay and you can finish this uh, preliminary step in your seller central account so this is really good let's talk about getting ready it's important to understand how everything works once you have set up your uh, Walmart advertising you, you need to uh, request advertising access okay so now that your company is active on uh, Walmart marketplace you can be you can begin the process of advertising on the e-commerce platform right so really did you have a separate department that is called Walmart media group okay so this is Walmart's ad platform they will review and approve each application okay and uh, you need to apply to the Walmart media group by emailing WPA sales at the walmart.com and you gotta really join the following information your company name contact information so your name phone number and email the number of SKUs offered by your business on walmart.com your product category so the primary category of your product sold uh, sold okay the primary campaign objective the target audience the desired advertising plan whether you have a you want to you want to have an annual or a seasonal plan and your anticipated budget again the email is wpa sales at walmart.com okay that's that's the 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 uh, what you have to do and depending on your company's performance on Walmart marketplace you may receive approval for advertising on the platform okay and Walmart media group does not reveal its performance requirements but it does require a minimum monthly spend of $1,000 okay and and uh, so once you actually apply you need to attend a Walmart advertising webinar if you are if you really don't if you have no clue about the process this is really important also and uh, and then after that you can actually log into Walmart ad platform okay so this is really good so but this will happen after you have uh, attended their uh, webinar okay and there are two ways you can do this so the Walmart media group provides your team with a dedicated category specialist upon approval so you can sign in with walmart.com or you can sign in as a seller so you're really signing with walmart.com if you're not already a seller okay but if you are a seller then you're logging with uh you're logging as a seller okay and so you and then after that you have you can launch your ad campaign your very first one hey right and you just need to think about what products you want to advertise how much you want to spend each month what you want to spend per product how long you want to run a campaign so this is really important and after your companies develop your ad approach you can create your campaign and ad so following your ads launch your team should monitor your strategy on a routine basis okay and uh, so that you can optimize your ad and its results folks we are still talking about how to advertise on Walmart marketplace and I want to talk to you about the different ad types so when we talk about Walmart there are several ad types so you can you can use search so with search you stand out from the crowd okay you get in front of Walmart's customers when they are actively searching for products like yours and search ads appear in prominent high traffic spots in search results and on browse pages 
okay and so walmart customers are searching and uh, walmart is helping you uh, show the product you can put your product at the head of the pack with high visibility search ads across walmart's digital properties this is really good and you are able to boost your conversion rates for online purchases and be uh, top of mind when customers head to their local walmart store after doing online research okay and you have sponsored products you have search brand amplifier you have search reporting this is really good so the first category is search second ad type display so display with display you make a premium impression you can stay top of mind with the strategic placement on walmart.com the walmart app and across the web so display ads are targeted based on customers omni-channel walmart history okay and here we have a display targeting on on-site display and off-site display and you also have in-store ads so in, in, with in-store ad, you are influencing customers in person. This is really good. So you are inspiring Walmart store customers while they are actively shopping and buying. This is really good. And they have, and this is happening through more than 170,000 digital TV and point of purchase screens across 4,700 Walmart stores. Fantastic. Okay. You have TV wall ads, you have self checkout ads, you have community events. And then you have brand interactions so you can create something special so what they this is really good because they have a very very interactive content events and sampling opportunities at walmart all the time so you can create instantly shoppable moments of inspiration to help build loyal relationships so this is really good so your goal here is what your goal is to actually inspire your customers okay your goal is to create content and uh, and, and uh, an ad campaign that really uh, captivates them and you want to be part of the personalized brand interaction evolution because walmart has something called uh, they have walmart connect and there this is a platform that takes retail media to the next level innovating in-person and digital strategies to connect you to Walmart customers in ways that they have never imagined. So you have content to commerce, that's the that's the strategy right now, and Walmart is doing a great job at that, and you wanna be part of it. And so for brand interactions, you have content to commerce, and you have sampling, fantastic. <music> Let me talk to you about ad setup okay we are still having a conversation about how to advertise on walmart marketplace so one thing you need to understand is that you want to be with a customer through their the journey okay when buying products when doing the research when buying products and after and afterwards so advertising i want you to think about advertising as a, something that is dynamic is it is not a one size fits all okay and uh, so to set up your ad Depending on the type of ad that you have, simply log into your Walmart Ad Center account, select Create New Campaign from the Campaigns tab, choose Manual or Automatic Targeting, set your budget, choose your placement type if you selected Manual Targeting. You have to select Bid Multipliers, so basically this gives you extra control over which ad formats you use. This is really good, we really recommend that. And you want to create an ad group and add the products you want to advertise and you want to enter your keywords. So this is the, the keywords will happen for manual campaigns only. So if you choose automatic, Walmart will do this for you. Okay, so when we talk about Walmart advertising ad tab one, you have search and grid. So this is really good because uh, you are able to hear, you are able to use uh, Walmart as a search engine similar to google bing and dot dot go okay and make sure that to set up uh, one of these uh, search and grid ads your products must, must fulfill several requirements be in stock win the white box be in the top 128 organic search results in other words the top three pages it must be in the same category as the search query and the same product type has as at least one top 20 organic results okay and you also have a Walmart advertising ad type number two, so the brand amplifier. So this is also a great, um, a great ad type, and it has its own requirements. And one thing we have seen is that you will see all the requirements once you're logging into your ad, into your Walmart ad center account. 
the ad type number three have a product carousel so this is really good because sometimes people shop online and know exactly what they want but in many cases they want to compare a product so find the best one okay so to help people do this walmart places product uh, product carousels that show customers different product options on search category and product pages so customers can really make an informed decision this is really good and this is actually good for your product also because you're able to 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 showcase the uh, pros and cons of your products vis-a-vis -vis your competitors okay and uh, the walmart advertising ad tab number four you have the buy box so this is really good also because you, you want to really compete for the buy box and and the buy box appears on product pages and offers your product as an alternative to the one they are looking at which makes it a great place for your product to appear so if the if a customer has any issues with uh, the product the, the item they are considering then the next option they are presented with is to check out your product so this is a great opportunity to showcase your products and really win some sales i'll be right back right after this don't go anywhere Welcome back, folks, to another session of the Awesome Sorted Kiwi Show. We're also having a conversation about how to advertise on Walmart Marketplace, okay? And I want to talk to you about ad strategies. So when we talk about Walmart Marketplace, what are the ad strategies you should have? And on Walmart Marketplace, your company can promote your business with several ad strategies, including Walmart performance ads, okay? So you can have a, a PPC advertising option, so a pay-per-click advertising option. So this ads allow your company to advertise a product to shoppers across walmart.com okay so with walmart uh, performance ads marketplaces uh, marketplace uses an internal relevancy engine to determine where and when your ads should, should appear you also have native banner ads so basically you are able to uh, the, so the walmart media group places your business front and center for shoppers browsing walmart marketplace you also have catapult ads and this is another good one. So if you want, let's say you want to promote a specific product, okay? Your business can, uh, in this case, advertise with catapult ads. So what are those? They basically appear at the top of product listings and they also feature the text feature item to indicate that this is a paid option. So unlike uh, Walmart performance ads, catapult ads do not use the internal re relevancy engine offered by Walmart Marketplace. Instead, this ads rely on uh, product categories, okay? So this is really important. And uh, you also have uh, another type of ad strategies. You have the site search feature ads. And uh, this kind of ads is, is great also, why? Because it promotes your brand on a related product page. So if users click on your ad, they go to a page that features all of your products and shoppers can then use filters to narrow the choices okay this is really good and this is also good if you have a lot of products to advertise okay so when you think about ad strategies on walmart marketplace think about walmart performance ads native banner ads catapult ads and site search feature ads one thing that is really good is that uh, you will receive uh, i mean you will receive guidance from the walmart media group they will work with you if you have your your dedicated representative he or she will tell you exactly what kind of ads you need depending on the the campaign you want to run depending on the goal you want you have set for your your campaign depending on the target audience so they will basically work with you so you will never you're never on your own okay now let's talk about cost because this is important and this is an important consideration and uh so with walmart ads keep in mind that you have access to a large platform okay but the thing here is that why would you want to advertise with Walmart ads in the first place? Well, the, the thing is that you can do a lot of things. You can support an organic presence. You can boost new seller performance. You can aid uh, struggling SKUs. You can take advantage of seasonal spikes. And Walmart is a great place for that, okay? And uh, so Walmart, uh, they do have an internal Walmart auction. So for your Walmart ads to run successfully, you need to consider hiring a Walmart ads agency to manage your auction ads, okay? Because they run off a first bid auction system, meaning the winning bid in an auction is the max cost per click bid. 
and competitors like Amazon use uh, second bid auctions. So unlike Walmart, the winning bid might be one penny over the second highest. Okay, so this is really good. So you really want to uh, make sure that you are as as competitive as possible. What are the Walmart ads minimum cost? So for the self serve campaign, minimum one thousand dollars monthly spend with one hundred dollar daily cap. For the managed campaign, the minimum is a twenty-five thousand commitment, and that's on a monthly basis. Okay, so if a company chooses to partner with uh, an advertiser agency professionally, this rate should be expected. So a one-time setup cost of uh, three thousand seven hundred and fifty dollars to uh, up to more than fifteen thousand dollars. A monthly ad spend of five thousand to uh, fifty thousand dollars and a monthly management cost of 1000 to more than 6000 okay so professional ad agencies come with additional costs because their marketers have several years of experience and successful portfolios that that really differentiate them okay and uh, Walmart when we talk about Walmart ads their average CPC and CPM really those vary especially when advertisers are only charged per click okay and so one thing you need to understand is that you can have native banner ads on a category home page landing page ads under certain product categories and sponsored ads in the product grid okay and uh, so how does Walmart ads how does uh, Walmart ad compare to uh, other platforms well the thing is that it really depends if you compare Walmart to Amazon or Google for example okay and but the thing is that Walmart actually does stand out and operates different differently than its competitors so on the online platform organic listings are actually impacted by advertising performance so there's an option to push higher organic listings when ads offer the same product and achieve clicks and views and online are not given an exclusive page like most other e-commerce platforms so if a shopper is on the product page and they they click on the brand a google search occurs on the other hand amazon sends the shopper directly to the brand page Okay, and search functionality is not at the top of the page like other marketplaces, so it can be more difficult to discover organically if advertisers don't have boosters like a two-day shipping badge to help them stand out. Okay, so those are things you need to think about. All right, folks, this is it for today's conversation. I was talking to you about how to advertise on Walmart Marketplace, and I'll give you an overview about the whole platform, how to sign up, how to get ready, the ad tabs you need to think about, your ad setup, the ad strategies you need to have in place, and the cost. Thank you so much for your attention. I will speak to you another time, but until then, remember, stay marvelous.